A veces. A veces. No puedo contar. No puedo contar. Toda la verdad a mis compañeros. I can't tell all of the truth to my companions because you couldn't take it. For this reason, today, barefoot, I touch this sacred ground to bless it once again to protect it and to guard it by means of my sacred heart. In this way, the time of the universe stops because his humble shepherd has entered to the orbit of this planet and by means of this portal of peace in order to aid the world. Still, humanity does not know the real stage of the end of times. All what you can see on television is a little illustration of reality. But there's even worse secrets that are kept hidden and their keys of uncertain doors. I come to place to put my light on this reality. I come to bring consciousness to my companions so that in the most crucial times that are approaching, do not be asleep, as my apostles slept in the Gethsemane and felt under temptation. I invite you to be awakened beyond your awakening. I'm not only talking about living the dream, but I'm talking about a spiritual awakening, an extreme vigilance ante acontecimientos que los rodean todos los días before events that surround you every day. And that you only know about them 1%. Today, at my feet, I bring the planetary reality. And I hope that those that consecrated themselves to my heart, pronunciating vows of life, fulfilled him. I won't come to judge your difficulties, nor your imperfections. I want you to give me what you can give me because through the things that you give me I will have the chance to help the world. With the arms, hands, and feet that I count on aren't enough 
in order to accomplish this work of worldwide service. I need your talents to be available to me. Because while your talents aren't available to me, millions of souls entering desperation and many are victims of death, of the unfair death. The seals of the apocalypse are being opened and when the seventh opens up everything, everything will be unleashed. No one will escape of this. I don't come here to bring you terror, but consciousness. I aspire that you may leave yourselves every day. To do not give a hard work to your brothers and sisters of path. Fulfilling, complying these times with a gift that you came to offer me. Do not waste time in shallow things. You were called by me. You shelter my convocatory throughout times. I know that this extreme surrender is not for all, but I do not come to ask for the impossible. I need you to accompany me with maturity in these times. Stop being children and from now on be my apostles, my warriors of peace, unconditional servers of my heart. Because the needles of the clock continue passing by and events are approaching one over the other one. Who would stop this current of evil, evilness in the world? I need my bases to be ready so I can return. And this will be possible through your hearts and surrenders. While this isn't ready, I won't have the authority nor permission to return. I'm not claiming anything to you. I'm not, not counting with your efforts, neither your sacrifices that are visible by my merciful heart. I need I need you to be in maturity and in loyalty. You know, companions, that this isn't happening. And meanwhile, my heart is flagellated by the world by seeing so many victims in the abyss of death. 
who would rescue them? Who would give it life for them? And I'm not only talking about humanity, but also about all those things that are invisible to your eyes. Today, I come to declare my preoccupation for humanity. I have the power to stop everything that is going on. But many choose the path of suffering. And my heart is so full of mercy as a chalice that is transferring, but still no one is drinking from it. I feel in me the wounds of the planet. I listen with my eyes, with my ears, the crying of the victims of the desert. In the desert of this planetary transition, I need you to definitely, in truth, unite yourselves, because I truly tell you, companions, it is not good to you to look like something, nor is good for my work. I came to call to hearts without experience, life in redemption, hearts in transformation. Saint Joseph is the path to achieve goals. He has offered himself to me in an extreme sacrifice for those that would persevere and that would follow the teachings of Saint Joseph step by step. Because he is the example of a possible and true humanity and of a new humanity, carrier of a new consciousness. Meanwhile, Saint Joseph does the impossible so that my project in humanity can be fulfilled. The divine messengers, we do the unreachable by means of all creatures to comply with the impossible. Today, I come to talk to you through the principle of 
the spiritual adulthood. Because since the past 8th of August, everything has changed much more than what it seems in that all what you know. I must place my servers in places of conflict. By means of your lives, I must get to the places of greater chaos. With the aim of going through all difficulties without losing the strength and hope. So I can place my sword in the highest of the mount of this planet. There, and in that moment, everything will fall apart, and it will be the end of human corruption. The earth will open up as a mother about to give birth. And everything will be purified. And no one will stop it. Because the time of the great redemption has come. And as in the a night of stars, I will come in silence. Even though many will be agonizing, suffering the consequences of these times, and of all those that governs them, that governs them, I will carry in my back the cross of salvation. And I will no longer carry with the debt of humanity. On the other hand, I will bring the luminous cross of Emmanuel in order to ignite the world in the four corners of the planet. And at that moment, already many nations will be ones against the others, but do not enter in desperation. The apparent captivity will end. And 
And everyone will consciously see it. Until an end may come, an end to the self-destruction of humanity. I come to bring you a message of wisdom. I come to radiate to you my discernment. Now is the time of growing up, not only innerly, interiorly, but also externally. Each one of you knows what has to grow, to make grow. Each one of you must assume their place in this transition because there is no more time. You will remember this message when everything happens. And your souls must serve themselves of the energy of my light. In order to be above all of the events without indifference. Because in this way, you will accompany me. And I will rest my tired body in you. To place my head in your shoulders, so as in the best, in the same way as John, you may relieve your load. Relieve to your Lord. Relieve your Lord. Is the only thing that I ask you to do. And in this way, you will be in my peace. Relieve your brothers and sisters. Relieve those that guide you. And you will be in my peace. Relieve the Eternal Father. And you will be in his plan of love. Do not give an extra work. Do not give complications where there is none of that, when there is any of that. Be clever much more than my enemy. And in this way you will cross the bridges towards my kingdom. Do not stop your steps. And in this way you won't stop my plan. 
you won't delay my plan. Today, I confess myself in the same way as a son confessed to his father. Today, I direct myself to you in the same way as a master talks to his disciples but also shows his worries. But not the worries that you comprehend him in this terrestrial life is something that I call as celestial impotence. As some of your companions that lives this every day. Now, do you comprehend it? Do you comprehend the compromise of those that consecrate themselves to me? I don't come here to give alliances to be thrown on the earth on the ground, or hidden by dust. I come to recognize what is innerly in you, and I have no doubts, because even though I have been a man, of being incarnated in this world. In my kingdom, there is no doubts, because this comes from the enemy, who confuses hearts and deviates them of my path of redemption. Once again, I invite you to be intelligent and as an army of light to close the doors to the one that is my rival so that he cannot enter in any space open. My mantle of light will always be upon you. And if one day it is not upon you, observe. If you did not take it out of your heads, or if you distant yourselves of me, to the point that I may not have the chance to reach you. The nations of the world need a lot of mercy. I come to strengthen prayers for Latin America and also for the whole world. The new Eden shall not be dissipated of minds, of the minds that have faith in them, in it. Hope is the base for this new eating.
I would like that all of my followers since tomorrow may receive written this message and all those who request for it will receive it. You have my permission to do this. This message must achieve the whole world and in all of the languages as possible. I thank that from any part of the world, knowing or not knowing my work here in America, souls offer themselves to transcript my words and to translate my message in all of the languages, in all of the possible languages with the goal that many others may know that I am in here accompanying you in these times of darknesses in the same way as I accompany my church in the trembler and in the agitation of its bark. But I already taught you that everything can be reverted. I said once to Peter, when I was in the Galilee Sea, what are you afraid of, Simon? If your master walks on water, do you believe that your faith will not let you do this? Leave the boat and walk towards the encounter of my sacred heart. Your faith can be so unbreakable as a mountain. I give you the strength to do all things. And Simon walked on water, not even perceiving it. He distanced himself of fear, and he entered in my love in the universe of my love. I invite you to go through these times with a lot, a lot of faith. Terror can be great. The blood that runs on the world might be, might have no end, but no one will overcome God. Humankind must comprehend that are distant of God, that have turned in their backs to God, to the universal kingdom of light, to the universal kingdom of light. This is why he sends his firstborn son in order to strengthen and to give courage the simple and good hearts. I come to offer you in this night my communion because this is a sacrament that will always restore you. 
Pidamos al Padre por su misericordia a través de Jesús. Let us ask to the Father for his mercy by means of his children. Because in his children is can be, the mercy of God can be found, especially in those that believe in his divine source, and that materialize his plan on this surface. So, in your hearts, my codes of light, and everything will be fulfilled. As my Father has requested to me, suffering will stop, and souls will find again hope and love. So be it. No tengan miedo. No tengan miedo. Que su maestro les entregue. Y que su maestro. That your master gives you. Revelaciones definitivas y contundentes. Revelaciones definitivas y contundentes. Necesito que me acompañen. Necesito que me acompañen. Con la misma sabiduría que yo tengo com a mesma sabedoria que eu tenho, com o mesmo amor que eu vivo, com o mesmo amor que eu vivo, com a mesma misericórdia que eu expresso, com a mesma misericórdia que eu expresso, por esta amada humanidade, por esta amada humanidade. Vamos a hacer los nombres de Dios a pedido de nuestro Señor. Vamos a hacer los nombres de Dios a pedido de nuestro Señor.
Today, I consecrate this blood as my blood of life for the blood that is put it out in the world through victims that suffer the, the human unfairness in each one of the nations of the world. Today, I consecrate this bread as my body in the name of souls that are mutilated, exploited, for souls that are victims of slavery and that are in captivity. For souls that are oppressed in the hands of men. For the mothers that abort their children. For the children that are sell and lost in the world. For the elderly that are mistreated. For souls that suffer illnesses in all hospitals of the world and that only receive lack of love, not knowing the consolating, consolating love. Today, my heart pleases for each one of those souls. For souls that have nothing to eat, but only living in prayer, waiting for a greater grace. Today, I offer this sacrament for the kingdoms of nature that silently are outraged for the animals that are discriminated, that are killed, and that serve not fairly as luxury in the tables of the richest ones. For all this blood unfairly put it out, and for those that do not know God and that had closed their hearts to the eternal love, I offer this communion. And I ask to each one of you to do the same thing, because this will be my last intervention for the world before everything happens. That your hearts be brave 
to offer this sacrifice in my name, even though you aren't ready. I will receive your pleas in the same way as I always do it, in order to place them as flowers to the feet of our Creator. Because even though all of the suffering in the world, His mercy is even greater beyond this universe. On this night, I consecrate the wine and the bread, bringing piety, the piety of our Father God, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. That your voices be heard in this universe, proclaiming the names of God. I thank you.